The road sector is today attracting the biggest fund in QT from the national budget, having been allocated over 2 trillion shillings in the current financial year's budget. While this has led to more roads being constructed over the last five years, the fast deterioration of some major highways is beginning to cause jitters within the sector. Road sector officials, however, assert that the problem is beyond shoddy works. One of the problems that is really making our roads uh, deteriorate so fast it goes beyond shoddy work. It's the uncontrolled axolotls, unplanned, uncontrolled axolotls. For example, we are at the center of trans, at the center of highways from the coast to Central Africa to Southern Sudan. You know what? We are transit. We are transit corridor for many countries. Now, you you, you follow the road going to Sudan before this war broke out in Sudan. The number of trailers going from Malaba to Tororo Mbale, Lira. Kamdini Guru was too much, extremely too much, because that's like, it became a trade corridor. And on the question of low participation of local farms in major road contracts, the officials reveal that many lack resource advantages that international players enjoy. This DC has undermined their ability to compete with the international farms. Many of them are small, small farms, small, small family holdings. Uh, they don't take into account economies of scale that we combine up ourselves and create big company. So that, create, that disadvantages them in competition. Meanwhile, government is still working on a project, the Crossroad Program, to soar up capacity of local farms to participate in many road works. So the point is that the local construction industry still has a lot to do. Developing technology, developing capacity, developing discipline, having a good regulatory environment, so that if I do shoddy work, I should be, I should be deregulated. So I think, the future is bright. It might look a bit painful for now, but I think the future is bright, except I urge them also to be good students and good learners. That when government has brought a program like that, like the Crossroads program, they should really respond to it. The 75 billion shillings released by the Roads Fund today will go towards maintenance of various categories of public roads in Kampala and all local governments.